Coming to you from that once forgotten artery that pulses through the center of the continental United States and into the heart of the Ozarks, Grace Matthews. Looking in from the northern border, our Canadian friend, along with his countrymen feeling the effects of U.S. political issues, Connor Murphy. Welcome to Dueling Dialogues, episode 149. I'm Connor Murphy here with Grace Matthews and the Hammer in Springfield, Missouri. Hi, you two. Hi. Hey, what's happening? Ah, not much. It's uh, storming here, but uh, we're not quite as bad off as the rest of Canada. So uh, counting our lucky stars, it's hovering just above zero, not like minus 53 in some locations in Canada. Oh That's Celsius. So it hit 53 here. Yeah, but you're in Fahrenheit, and Celsius minus 53 is yeah. like minus 65 or something like that. So ridiculously oh cold. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. I think we're headed for an ice age. <laughs> that's what it feels like. <laughs> Well, you know, it, yeah, that's a little different than the global warming. Everybody, uh, especially um, AOC, is predicting that will be history in twelve years yeah. because of the global warming. Yeah, yeah, you know? Cra- crazy eyes. You mean, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but the media loves her. You know? But there's a lot of crazy ideas going on out there, and uh, I never believed that we would on. Um, this show talk about abortion yeah me neither because to me it's just kind of a no-brainer i mean i i think it's it's law even though there's an argument that roe versus wade is unconstitutional right um it's accepted by everybody so but things are changing now we live 90 miles south of where Roe versus Wade Happened. came to be. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was um, I didn't in Rolla, that. Missouri. Yeah. Just up by 44. And it's, it's very interesting because in Missouri, you really can't get an abortion. I mean, there are guidelines where you could, but the stipulations are so enormous that we consider it a a state that does not you cannot legally get an abortion because you have to go to the hospital you have to have a medical reason there's only one clinic left in the state that does it wow so despite the fact that roe versus wade was was passed here and became federal law the state is basically an abortion-free state. Now, you know, like I said, I never really wanted to talk about it, but I have a unique standpoint. Um, I will tell you that I think science has shown us that babies are babies. Right. Okay? I don't think 20 years ago science has shown us that, but I think now, you know, we science has a lot more people believing that they should not get abortions. Having said that, I don't believe I would tell anybody else not to get an abortion. Right. I believe it should be legal. I lost a friend in high school to a self-inflicted abortion. You outlaw abortions and that and you've is got going to happen. All kinds of horrible problems. Right. Okay. Exactly. Which now, I, I, I was going to ask you about that. Is Missouri a place that you would find illegal abortions being, you know, taking I'm, place? I'm sure you would. And certainly when I was young, you did. I was very happy because for years, the Republicans would put it out there on the platform and it doesn't belong in politics anymore. But Laura Bush, and this is probably about one of the only nice things you'll hear me say about um, GW, and it's really not about GW. When her husband was running in 2000, um, I guess it was 2000, okay, yeah, she said that Roe versus Wade should remain. And although she did not believe in abortion for herself, she believed that it should not be illegal. Okay. Okay. 
I, I just want to clarify something. Maybe maybe you could say something with Roe versus Wade because some of our listeners might not be, you know, up to speed on what happened there. Uh, Roe versus Wade. Right. Roe versus Wade was um, a case where a woman became pregnant and she wanted, you know, I really don't remember the whole the whole case. Um, right. Of course, I didn't expect you to go into it was, details. Yeah, you know, she believed she had the right over her body to say, I want to give this baby up. It was an unconsensual sexual relationship. Right. Okay. Okay. The woman now believes that it's wrong. Hmm. She has gone on all kinds of TV shows and um, <laughs> she is now a pro-lifer. Wow. For whatever that's worth. And okay. has begged them to revisit it. Now, as recently as the Kavanaugh case, right. Congress, the Democrats on in Congress, have been concerned that the Supreme Court would revisit abortion and that they would overturn it. Because Roe versus Wade does kind of violate the Constitution. Right. You know, I don't see SCOTUS doing that, even though Kavanaugh and Gorsuch are both pro-lifers, because you just open the door to each state making some wild abortion laws, which is what we've already got and why right. we're talking about this today. Why would they want to open that can of worms? And exactly. the, the, the answer is pretty evident. It's a distraction. It is. It's a huge yeah. distraction. You know, any it's, any way they can uh, basically uh, divide the people, they're, they're all in. Exactly. And I will tell you, just as a little side note, I have two adopted children. I am very much for adoption. And I have one biological son. Same as the hammer. He'll... he'll tell you what he thinks about it too and um, you know there are a lot of people out there that want babies I am very pro adoption right and I also believe as a woman when you have been pregnant there comes a point when you know that baby is alive I mean I could play games with my son I could hmm. push twice and he kicked back at me twice now, not in the first month, okay? Right. I could eat ice cream and he'd be up all night. I mean, <laughs> right. So these, you know, these babies do at some point feel pain. They have emotions and it's very quickly huh. um, in, the, in the process. What we have as an issue today is New York, Governor Cuomo just made abortion legal up until birth wow okay now women have been yelling and screaming that they should have the right over their own bodies okay men should not be making these decisions so why is governor cuomo doing this he's a man i don't know how many women you would find that could actually do an abortion. Yeah, this is this is horrendous. In the ninth month of pregnancy. Oh, wow. That is killing a baby. Yeah, now, how do they do that? I mean, they probably don't want that out in the public, do they? And well, you... I just want to say this. None of the major networks or the cable networks, except for Fox, carried Chromo little speech after he well, that signed was the Virginia the bill. governor the, and, you know, and the Virginia Cuomo's, governor uh, yeah the Virginia governor is um that's the one that's just draw breaking but um what are your views on you know I want to get that out there first too as a man what's your view on abortion I mean I well my view on abortion is that I th I think that the woman should always have the choice we don't know what happened. You know, there's such things as incest, rape, whatever. I think they should have their choice. However, there have been babies born all the time 
you know, at six months or five months or whatever the smallest amount of months are that are alive that well, medicine up, has come far that end up living and and being healthy children and just they nurse them you know put them in the incubator and nurse them to health and they turn out normal right if whatever normal is yeah, yeah. but to me I just cannot believe that when you get into the second and third um, trimester. trimester, to me that's murder. Okay, but what if it's one of our sons and the woman decides to abort the baby? You still think that's okay, that's her decision? I would definitely try to talk them out of it and say there's so many people out there like ourselves that would love to have a baby. Or like our old self. Yes, like our old self. <laughs> not, not now. Not now. <laughs> Been through that, yeah. yeah Lived through it once and uh, that, or three yeah. times, I guess. That doodles too much. Okay. And, yeah. and so, you know, that's, uh, that's another thing that uh, there's so many people out there that, that want children and they want babies. Now, going a little further here, one of my pet peeves is, and I've had some of my friends do it, I don't like the idea of going over and adopting Russian children. Well, we have them. kids that need to be adopted. Because yeah. we have we have them here it's nothing against in the Russian States. Nothing, no, I'm not just picking yeah. on Russia, but if we were had no children whatsoever, just like hung just like people being hungry. If there was no hunger in the United States, everybody was going to bed at night with a full stomach. Let all these people in, let's feed them. You know, it, that would be the right, the humanitarian well, thing to do. You believe in taking care of your own first. However, if we don't take care of our own, there won't be any of us here right. to take, to care, take of care of yeah. people later on mm -hmm. because we... As they say, it's getting harder and harder to make a living, to um, food is getting a little harder to produce. Everything's being a little tougher, so we should be a little smarter in the way we do things. But with the birth rate going down because of the cost of having children, I think we need every baby that we can have because I guarantee you, there is someone out there that will take it and love it and be happy and it will right. it will so, make their life are, fulfilled. You don't want to outlaw abortion, Craig. No. No, I, I, I totally agree with the hammer here. Uh, absolutely on every single thing you just said. That's where where my stance is. I, I believe it's a woman's choice. However, this late term stuff, no. That's just yeah. wrong, and any woman that would even think of that, I probably don't want to be near. I mean, it, the yeah. thought of it, it just disgusts me um, for so many reasons. But uh, on the other hand, you do need legal abortions because of, uh, you know, the, the illegal abortions and the damage that does, you know, or oh causing gosh, death. Yeah. You know, yeah. so the, you got to consider the alternatives as well and, and what's going to happen if. So they well, should have yeah. never messed with that. Never. Especially oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, we're talking about Governor Cuomo. You know, I think the gov Governor Northam of Virginia, uh, a former pediatric neurologist, yeah. he suggested that the new law that has been um, put before their state um, house suggests that a baby could be born and then do it he calls it he calls it an infant he never says baby which is interesting and then they make the baby comfortable while i guess the mom and the doctor has a glass of wine or a cup of coffee and decide whether they should kill the baby or not oh my lord um wow that is crazy. I, I mean, it, it's crazy when you think about the medicine we have and the things we can do. And also, we have a special needs child. Right. To think that his birth mother 
were to have killed him is impossible for me to imagine. And let me tell you, every step of the way for this kid has been difficult. But to say his life was not worth living is, is completely wrong. Right. right. And I will tell you the best and most important lessons I've learned in my life have been from a kid that could have been the baby that Governor Northam's talking about. Wow. That is uh, yeah, pretty horrendous. It is. And you talk about Downs babies. It's hard to say that a Downs patient um, or, or, or kid or adult does not have a life worth living. It may be different than yours. It's like our son with disabilities and a low IQ. His life is much different than ours. And, and we had to learn to be mature enough to accept it and nurture but he's happy. But I tell you what, he's more damn happy than most of the rest of us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know? exactly. And um, it's you know, and the people he works with, he works at a workshop, um, and the people he's friends with. Let me tell you, they're happy. They're more happy than most people I know. Yeah, and most people will Should. ever be too. I don't know how you could murder a child. I cannot believe in the United States we're even discussing this. Yeah. And, and if women want more control, why are these damn men talking about this? I, uh, what is the motive for opening that can of worms? There has to be a motive. I don't know because it cannot. I, I don't see where you gain from it politically. Yeah, like did he wake up one morning and just say, hey, I want to kill some babies? Exactly. Or I am going to play some, you know, I'm, I'm some sort of God that is going to decide whose life is worth living. Maybe it is a power thing. I don't, uh, it's just ridiculous. I don't know. We're talking about Kim Jong-un. We're talking about um, Putin. I mean... This to me is worse than them. <laughs> yeah. Um, You're talking about a baby. Who doesn't love babies? Exactly. And I, and I you just. You might not even want one, but I, you love them. I, I think, uh, you know, people need to look into his motives. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Just made. What him... are their motives? I mean, in, in New York, they even made um, uh, one of the towers pink. In celebration of this decision. Wow. Okay. I like a change. I mean, how freaking yeah. twisted is this? Yeah. Wow. So I uh, just go ahead. I just could not. I just could not imagine. Let's just in Virginia. Okay. It. Uh, you have a Downs baby born, or you know, maybe it's got a birth defect or whatever. They sh and I'm sure they had, with all the science, they would have known this right. before the baby was born. Absolutely. So the baby comes out, they make it comfortable. <laughs> they drug it. So, okay, so then they have a talk, and the mother says, you know, I just don't feel right trying to raise this child or whatever. Okay, so now this doctor is going to go in there and basically kill that baby. Now, if that is not murder, you know, they, they, they will not let you have these assisted suicides, but yet he can go, a uh, doctor can murder a baby. Now, I, this just makes no sense to me, whatever. And then how could that doctor who's, job they take a note to save lives yeah how can you have the how can you take a, a living being that you did not try everything in the world to save it and you're just going to stick the syringe in its brain and kill it yeah i, I just which is it boggles my mind that term abortions they actually inject a substance it takes about three days for the baby to oh, die Lord. so the mother's walking around with this dying infant inside her that would just creep me i mean i don't know you'd have to sedate the hell out of me for that but um 
you know, this just came in. I mean, this guy's a sick son of a buck. He is having to apologize for a medical school yearbook photo with where he had on a black face and a KKK robe. <laughs> Okay, well, we He's know what his character is like. He's uh, apologized for the the racist activity when he was in medical school. Well, that's pretty. That's pretty yeah, wild for a Democrat. You know, we were that. when this came up the other night. We started talking, and I brought up that you know so many uh, prisons are getting in trouble for causing death row inmates discomfort too much discomfort as they're killing them for people that have taken other people's lives but yet we're going to kill babies yeah you know what's the correlation how does that yeah, happen in the, the united same states that were yelling at trump about splitting up mothers and children at the border for 20 days yeah uh -huh. this is permanent yeah. permanent yeah this is permanent and um you know playing god i mean you know whether you believe in god or not certainly you you don't believe that a human being should pretend to be god yeah this is this boggles my mind why anybody would want to open this can of worms especially a male politician yeah. i don't get it um, I don't see where it's getting them. I, I, I think, honest to gosh, I know Cuomo, I could tell, believed he was giving women some great gift. I think it's backfiring. Wow. I hope I, so. I, I, I believe this is beyond party lines. Oh, yeah. I, At I least would I guess hope that. it is. Yeah. Um, and like I said, if you've ever had a baby, even adopted a child, even loved a child. I mean, you don't have to have one. You know, um, I just don't believe that it, it could be that easy. I mean, what would what would PETA do if you did this to a puppy? <laughs> they would chain themselves good to your point. front door. Yeah, good point there. Very good point. So, and I agree know, with you. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, let's move on to a lighter note. It's Friday. Um, yeah, thanks for... Uh, we had to talk about this. Yeah, but, th um, thanks for me, for making me want to puke now. So, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's talk about <laughs> a little football. Let's let the hammer right. tell us who's going to win this Super Bowl game. That, that's not going to stop me from puking. <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah. Try to shift your mind to uh, All fun, right. food, and football. All you right, know? Hammer, what do you got? Okay, guys, I have done my diligence. I have listened to every talk show pugnant. I have done every bit of info, fact finding I can, and this is what I've come up with. Okay. I looked at the schedules, who they played. I looked at their rosters. If you match the Rams roster up with the Pates, you will see that actually they have a better roster as far as athletic ability, youth, speed, etc. Hmm. Huh. Wow, that surprising. Yeah, it surprises me. They had more all pro players than the Patriots did too. Wow, okay. It, okay. They have more game breakers than the Patriots do. Okay. Sounds like they have a lot like of things Rams, going for in them. In fact, to, most people are voting on the Rams, right? I mean, are betting. They, they, <laughs> they, have, they have the number one defensive player in the league, Mr. Donald, and he is a absolute animal. He set the record for sacks for a defensive tackle this year at 20 and a half sacks. Wow. And for a defensive tackle, that is unheard of. Most of your sacks come from your defensive ends and your your linebackers blitzing from the outside. Right. So I tried to come, but then I, I mark all those positives for the Rams. Okay. Then we got to go to negatives. The one negative is they shouldn't be in the game because they got they screwed the Saints. Well, they didn't. The, the, the rest. Ref, well, I did. Yeah. So they shouldn't be there. So that's yeah. a big thing. And, and they even don't care. Goodell, even Goodell admitted that. Yeah. 
And his conference so, was there. So I guarantee you, no one in St. Louis likes the Rams since they left no, them high and no, dry. That's true. But anyway, I looked at this and looked at this, but the one thing that the Patriots have for them, they got the GOAT. Right. The greatest of all time, Tom Brady. He's just lucky. Oh, he cheats. I don't know how he does it. I agree with you. I he think can't the move. Will He's win. one hit he away from lose. career ending injury. You know, he waddles around out there like he's 41. Oh, yeah, he is 41. <laughs> and he still makes it happen. But he, he he has the feel. Right. And he makes, you know, the the point in every sports uh, okay. event, you can say, is he's the guy that makes everybody better. Reggie Jackson used to say it better than anybody. I'm the straw that stirs the drink. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so you think that Tom Brady and his Patriots are going to win, but by how much? I think it's going to be, a th I think it's going to come down just like he beat the Chiefs. I think it's down gonna, and dirty down and in the last second. I think it's, yes, I do. I think it's going to be he a close beat our game. Cute little quarterback. I think it's going to go back and forth. And I think at the end, Brady's going to get the football and he's going to take it and drive it right down their throat and they're going to win. Could so win by one, three, two, or three. three yeah, six? I think in somewhere 30 to 28, 30 to 27, 32 to 28. I agree 28. with you. I really do. I think, you know, Brady pulls it out. I, we don't know how, but somehow it happens. Yeah. And you know what? I, I think I'm going to pull for the Rams because I like being the, you oh, know, I cheering for the, the yeah. I, yeah, I think, you know, I like to cheer for the underdogs. And I think in this instance, they are the underdogs because they don't have Tom Brady. So I totally agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just hope the commercials are great. Yeah, we will. Let, we will. <laughs> well, that's a big controversy because uh, here in Canada, they overdubbed the commercials with Canadian commercials that have. Do no, that? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm glad you told us that. You I didn't did know not that. Know that? No. Yeah, we we I have didn't. to go. We have to go to I Facebook. Most of our listeners <laughs> didn't know that. We have to go oh to Facebook gosh. to see the the commercials. We eventually see them. But yeah, uh, yeah sure. not during the Super Bowl. It's oh wow! I do have a good stat for the listeners too. Okay. Each each thirty second commercial costs four point five million dollars. Is that all? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's actually a pretty good bargain. You know, maybe we should uh, for thirty seconds. Maybe we should pool our cash and buy some of those seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. One second? How much does that make one second worth? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't $4 afford and it. $4.50? Yeah. yeah, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't afford that. That's for sure. So, I, And, you know, this is hope that is... I do hope it's an entertaining game when, since I really don't have a dog in the fight. My beloved Chiefs aren't there, and I'm still in mourning. And I'll be in mourning till next year, where the, when they're back. Well, and uh, we're all in mourning. It's just been over a, our teams. Our teams just yeah. We wanted it so bad. It's the first time in so long we've been so close, and Tom Brady broke our heart. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Well, I think we got to agree it's going to be a good game either way. Yep. And we don't always agree, but life's a journey and we're all in this together. Thanks for listening. Godspeed, Connor, and Godspeed to all of our friends out there. Godspeed you too. And thanks for listening, everyone. B bye now. <laughs>